G'day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Dyna will be trying to make music with Ableton Live, as suggested by Hippie Guy. A link to Patreon will be in the description so you can join these awesome guys who help make these videos possible. Anyway, will Dyna be able to make a sick beat or will her skills need a bit of a tune-up? Keep watching to find out. Okay, here you are with Ableton Live 9 Lights. Now go make some music. Now, I'm not gonna make it that <laughs> that open up for you. So first of all, and remember this is not a tutorial, is Ableton Live 9 user-friendly for a person who doesn't know much about music and MIDI keyboard and all of that. I have set the MIDI keyboard up though so she doesn't have to do that part. Okay, so. Can you make it so that if you're going to play these keys on this um, MIDI keyboard you've got in front of you, yeah. can you make it so that it makes a piano sound? So that you're tapping these keys and they make a piano sound? It's not making any sound. Yeah, so you've got to tell the computer. Because a MIDI keyboard by itself okay. doesn't actually contain sound and all of that. It just okay, so feeds into sounds, the computer. I'm under categories there and I'm going to sounds. Um, there's no piano thing here. Oh, but wait a sec, piano and keys, yes. Look at the categories at the side again and tell me if you think there's something better than sounds. Sounds, drums, instruments. Or maybe instruments. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so now, so now okay. there's your instrument rack. Now what do you notice about but these? But what's the difference between sounds and instruments? I mean, instruments make sounds. <laughs> Still now, not making sounds. I know. But what do you notice about pianos and keys? Like, it's got this little triangle next to it. What do you think that signifies? That it's got oh, some different pianos down. and keys. So you're going to want um, a classic no, grand, grand piano. That's why. I, I like. mean, classical as grand piano. I like. Ah, uh, it did. It, see, I didn't even touch it. Okay. However. Oh, it's still, you're still not. not. You're very close. Um, you've got to put it somewhere. It's there, but you've got to put it somewhere to tell the computer that this is the instrument I want to play. I'm playing it. Okay. <laughs> you can't just, that's just the preview. Well, I'm still making a piano sound. Come on, you've got to actually make, I said through the MIDI keyboard, you've got no. to be able to play grand well, piano. <laughs> you can't just, <laughs> come on. Um, okay. Um, I, I, I'm where do you I'm think you've got to put it's... it? Look for somewhere where it says you might put an instrument. Like, for example, um, near the top you might notice, like, top Audio. middle of the screen. It says... MIDI. Grand piano, go there. I did it! Now, what do you notice? Tap very softly on a key. Now tap hard. So it's, it's got 128 levels of pressure sensitivity. So if you press at different rates and different, mm -hmm. you know, things, it'll make it, you know, differently. Just show us your piano skills. Try and play a little song oh, for now. I don't play the piano. Let's just say there's no skills. Um... Do you want the volume up a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Here? You just, yeah, spin it up. Not too much. Yeah, okay. Basically, next up, let's say to this grand piano here, mm -hmm. you wanted to apply some kind of a MIDI effect. So basically, like you've got maybe something where you press one key, but it's actually pressing a few different tone, like keys at once. Oh, it does that. Yeah, you can do two at once. I wish I was able to play the piano. I wish I'd learnt to play the piano. <laughs> okay, so at the side, do you see anything where you might be able to find some kind of MIDI effect? Okay, something... so we've we've put, I'm assuming here, we've put the grand piano there. Where do you think you might find some MIDI effects? MIDI, by the way. Well, is spelled... MIDI is there. Yeah, that's how you spell it. Where do you yeah. think you might find some? So look through the categories and see if you can find some kind of MIDI effects. MIDI effects, yeah. <laughs> I was very precise there, wasn't I? Okay. Okay, so you want to change it so that it plays a certain chord when you press these keys. Do I? Yep. Um, okay, the, the chords drop down. contain, yeah, drop down. Okay. So what one of these looks well, interesting? Well, if you bring the whole lot there, wouldn't it bring all of them? <laughs> so you've got everything there? Just think, what do you want to apply to this grand piano? And how would you apply this chord to this grand piano? All of this is just like another language What one sounds me? most interesting to you? <laughs> Look at this Major Tom, Minor Tim. Oh, poor Tim. <laughs> Tom and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> poor Tim. 
He's only minor compared to Tom. Okay, so what would you like? Fifth Lord, eternal... I want eternal okay. sunshine. So where are you going to drag that? I'm going to drag that to midi. That's not like the right place. You want to... And Come on, in there. It's, in unfortunately, there? this is now a different... You're, you're acting as if this is a different instrument now. Oh. So you've got to stay Do in MIDI too. So stay in there, click back in there to get back into there. What click do you grand mean? piano, click on that. Yeah. Now here's your grand piano at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, yeah. You want to apply this to that grand piano. So how do you oh, think you might so do it? so I go to there. You can do it like that, yeah. Or you could also drag it to the grand piano like that too. No, no. That's anyway, that's there you go. So now you've got your eternal sunshine. Do you think that's applied it? Have a go. Oh, it has. It sounds different. So... Wait a sec. It does sound so good. what I want you to do is just that disables it and that turns it back on. Mm -hmm. So tap one key a few times. Now enable it. Yeah, I See like it. See how it sounds quite a little bit different. I like Eternal different. Sunshine. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to record a little track now. Okay, you were going to record it onto the computer. So how would you record a little tune if you were now going to record a tune? Well, that's play, stop. I don't know what that is. Actually, before we do that, um, let's try and get a... <laughs> yeah, I'm not a music person, so I can't pronounce this right. I want you to try and also apply not only this chord to it, but I want you to add another thing to this grand piano, an appendulator. <laughs> Appendulate. <laughs> okay, a pe let's just break it down. <laughs> Appendix is like um, another part of, and uh, like for instance, but, uh, my arm I I is actually... an appendix of me. It's like it's a, another. It's a part of. So I'm assuming it's, it's another. It's another MIDI effect. Okay, so yeah, it, it, okay. it would be in the same area. Um, I don't know if I'm even saying it right. Okay, so that's just me trying to looking at a word for the first time. Appendulator. Here we are. Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. So if so, I grab. Ah, uh, but the triangle. Oh, it's always there's got effect. so many different things. So I want bouncy ones. chords. Okay, so you can click and drag it. I'm just looking at the housier than thou. Housier than thou. <laughs> Sounds like something from Shakespeare. Shakespeare. <laughs> housier than thou. Okay, um, let's grab let's grab the bouncy chords and let's put it. Well, yeah, you can put it no, there. No, no, I like putting it there. That's okay, now see how it appeared there? Yep. Bouncy chords at the yep. bottom next grand piano. So now try and do something. Put your finger on one key and just hold it. I don't even have to do it. Just press one key and I've got music. Now press another key. And now kind of press different keys. No, but keep your finger on it. So that's how that works. No, but the idea is usually when you do this, you, have, but you kind of play it like this. do that mm -hmm. okay you can add sustains and do a bunch of other things but we're not going to do anything more do you want those bouncy chords yep. or would you rather not have the bouncy I chords? like the bouncy okay chords. so now can you try and record a bit of a song here where do you think you would start recording yourself create well I'm going to create something aren't I I'm going to create a recording I'll tell you what or, wait a sec let me look at it um, ignore the top bar at the very top so, ignore the file ignore okay. that so it's somewhere within this program and see if you I'm can I'm wondering find whether it's something here. <laughs> there's so many things on the screen there's with so this program. There's so many things. Well, there's nothing here. Well, I'll just say you've already moused over it once. I have a feeling it's something here, to tell the truth. Is it this Pretend one? that's a tape player. Play, Play, stop, record. Stop, record. Oh, yeah, so the circle is the record. But it's usually in a red. red. So that's what threw you off. But that's what threw As well, me. you can see that this is kind of a style. See how the yeah. whole program so, is just grain. So, if I press... I'm recording. Yep. Stop recording, it's still recording. Now, this program has two...
different kind of views that you can look at. Mm -hmm. There's two different views. There's this view and there's also another view where you can kind of see where your music is kind of being recorded. See if you can switch to that view where you kind of see where your music's being recorded, almost like a little timeline to show you the notes and stuff. Where do you think you would access that separate screen? And if you need a clue, I'll tell you. So where it's being recording, you mean this thing? Like, it's a separate, a completely separate screen. There's like two modes you can see this program in. There's like another mode where it shows you your music as a timeline type thing. And it's kind of, it's a switch, you can switch between two things. Why can't you just have one good mode rather than two different modes? No, because there's too much to fit on the screen. Condense it. <laughs> Tell that to a person playing <laughs> eight different musical instruments, you know, in their song. Mm -hmm. Something here? I don't know. Give me a clue. Okay, so look far right side of the screen. Mm -hmm. Far right. Yep. There, that's Top your clue. Bottom. So two modes, switching between two different modes. Okay. Top. Oh, wait a sec, that. Click it. There you go. Oh, so there's your. So there's your. Yeah. Modes. So there's your grand piano. See, and that shows you yeah. all the keys you actually press. See that? Yeah. All the little do do do. And then when when you did the both sides of the keyboard and came together, see that? Oh, the wow. high pitch is at the top, and the low pitch is at the bottom. That was interesting. See that? So you kind of made that triangle shape. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Anyway, you've now got one instrument in your timeline. Mm -hmm. Let's add another instrument now, and you're going to play another instrument so, and add it to this. So what instrument are we going to play? I so you're going to put it there. Go to a different timeline. Yeah. Now, I go to instruments. instruments. Yep. Now, let's not do a piano and key type thing. No, let's no, choose no, a different I will. instrument. I, will, I was going to. Um, let's do a guitar and um, let's do... Oh, look at this. Please rise for Jimmy. Shemison. Steel jazz clean. You can click on one to hear the sound. I like this one. Clean. Stranger lead guitar. What? Oh, no. Strangler lead. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> And strangler, strangler, they both sound bad. I think bad. strangler's even worse. Stranger's <laughs> going to strangle you. Buzz hinge. You can click on them. Oh, that sounds like Stonehenge, but buzz hinge. Campfire. Oh, I want campfire. Click on it. So that's like oh, the guitar. Actually, oh, let's, let's hear them all. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. That's like in an eerie movie. Mm. Nylon. Nylon. <laughs> Next one should be polyester. <laughs> it's funny, one of the um, people in the Astral Phaser Chats um, weekly, they're called Rylan, and I always call them Rylan. <laughs> I don't know what I like. I want that one. Okay, so how do you kind of put that in the timeline that you there. want that? And yeah. try and play an instrument. No, it's still it's piano. Still like so I didn't have this much trouble when I was trying to do it myself. Look, that's got a time thing. That doesn't have a time thing. Yeah, there we go. And not that you'd use this, but you can also do this. Ready? Oh, what's that? Thing. Yeah, you can do that for any grand piano or anything. So you can do that. So that's something you might find interesting. I do. <laughs> Listen to my piano and tell me, do you think it needs a bit of a tune? <laughs> okay, do you want to? Okay, so do you want to now record this on top of your piano? So you've got this and the grand piano going. Okay, so I'm going to go up there. higher and higher on your little thing.
Okay. Okay. So let's hear them both at the same time. We So just before um, everyone goes deaf, um, let's... Um, <laughs> Can we add a third one in? The more the merrier. <laughs> no, we're gonna, we're gonna just kind of start calming down now. Let's just start listen to a few different instruments now. Some different things that you, you know, because you haven't heard oh, many... Oh, let's, let's add a beat to it. You can add beats too, but let's just now, you know, listen to some different instruments. Very suspenseful, like, like the Twilight Zone or something, like a strange movie or strange okay. dream or something. So can you just, just so we can hear different instruments, just drag a bunch of instruments down that like just keep, dra drag one, play a bit, drag one, play a bit. Which, which instrument? So just this what one? you've currently got here, some of these. That one's the one where you hold it down. You get it? Chill out zone. It's like wind as well. <laughs> yeah. Like a breeze coming through a you can make crack in a window. Yeah, this, this yeah. isn't like a horror movie. Look. <laughs> okay, try out some other sounds. Let's let's wow. kind of zoom through this a little bit. That's quite interesting. We don't want to run out of time here, so just keep putting them there. And... Like that little thing there. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Listen to a few more different things. Don't listen to all of these. Just listen to a few more pads, and then we'll finish um, that pads up and listen to some other instruments. <laughs> that sounds quite interesting, doesn't it? Indian. <laughs> now that sounds like a bunch of bees. Sounds very exotic. Can you imagine like a, you know, an ad about going to a tropical I know. island or some exotic island? Okay, maybe just listen to one oh, more pad, go down the list. One. Get, don't get the next one. Just it says glass filter. One has the most it sounds like gas filter. Whatever has the most interesting name. Glass cave mirror. I'll tell you what, if anything did sound like a glass cave mirror, this does. <laughs> what does a glass cave mirror sound like? Well, <laughs> this. Do you like some of these different instruments? So these are the pads instruments. You're obviously well, not the pads, but the ambient. Oh, I like it. Them. Okay, light and shadow. I want to try the. This oh, we can't try all of them because we're kind of we're a bit low on time. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna Altitudes move on now. Of space. <laughs> we, can't, we can't listen to every single pad. Well, this is like all instruments in one. <laughs> Come on, we can't listen to every single one of these. Sounds like you're tuning Sounds like alien. interference. Yeah, interference with the radio and aliens interfering. Okay, we can't listen to every... Come on, people are going to get bored of this if you do every instrument. 
I just want to see Polar Pad and Sandman. like you're in this underneath this building in some cave and oh and there's all noise from the above floor something's coming to get you oh that's so scary so i think we've Let's found your sandman. passion in this program now sandman oh a bit boring <laughs> Sounds like a dream. Sounds all bubbly. <laughs> like things aren't real. Like you're going in and out of reality. Shutter pad. A uh, stutter pad. It's already stuttering. You don't need to make it stutter more. <laughs> Something's coming round the corridor to get you. Now, you know what my favourite one? Polar pad. That's the one I like. That's the one I'm keeping. Really? No, I think we've, we've already gone past the making a song phase. Now, this is more you just kind of yeah, polar testing pad. out things. I like this. By the way... Can I add polar pad to my well, other things? this is... It's technically already got polar pad. Hear the polar pad in the background? No, it does. Because I... I've changed what you press with the grand piano to pop that. Okay. We're going to try out something a little bit different. Impulsive. You are going to try and make a little beat now. Okay. So let me just... I want the soft saturated beat. No, I'm... I'm going to... No. No. Let me go. Go away. Black back room beat. I want... Where is it? Soft saturated I want that one. We could chillin. <laughs> okay. So that's the one. What we're gonna do here, what you can do is you can add these little things. So you can, might add some kicks here. Kick now imagine this as a repeating um little whatchamacallit tune that's just gonna repeat and make a backbeat in a tune type mm -hmm. thing. Um and we might add um a wooden uh I don't know. I'm just clicking random stuff like this. And then if I click play let me just... That's how the tune we've made. So if you double click any of these, you can add... See, that's that thing to I it. I want to add room stock. That one. You can add two to a thing. Do you like the tune you've just made? See how it just keeps repeating and going through this little thing? That's pretty cool how you can make a tune like that. Yeah. And you can have that repeating in the background. Have I missed out on any of them? Oh, wait a second. Actually, I'm going to have all of them in this one. You can barely hear it with all of them, but you, you can kind of still hear it. What do you think of that? Interesting. Okay. So I think... There was so many more instruments you could have listened to, so many more things we could have done, but this was just a quick look at trying to make music with Ableton Live. I hope you enjoyed this video. I and, did. Yeah, and we will see you in the next episode of OS First Timer. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh no, it doesn't do it. <laughs> well, wait, what are you trying to do? Play like, some more. We want another instrument on there. Yeah. Let me just get an instrument up for you quickly. I want... No, 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 let's... No, no, I want to pick something. Brass. Just... No. Strings? No, I don't want swings. I want voices. Okay. I want voices. Oh, that sounds... Yeah, that one. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. So let's let's do yay, yay, yay. So wait a second. If, oh, look, this is a digital... If I right. create something here... You can use it in And the I upload music. it to YouTube... Yeah, it's okay because you've made it. It's royalty free, but then I can get all the royalties of it if other people want it. Use this music. Yeah. Well, no, royalty free means that people can use it without paying you. No, but I'm saying, what if I upload it, but then copyright it?
that it's mine and people have to pay me to use it. Yeah, you can. Who <laughs> would pay me to use that? <laughs> okay, where's those voices? That, that, these are all the voices, look. Oh, it does it there. Yeah.